Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Today we're putting in a new faucet in the bathroom. The old faucet here has a bit of damage to it from hard water over about eight years. So remember, don't leave hard water sitting around your hardware in the bathroom. It'll eat away at it. So this is a great way, whether you have hard water or not, replacing a faucet in the bathroom is actually a pretty easy project and it gives the bathroom a nice little update without spending a lot of money or a lot of time. So we'll go through how to do this one today. As you can see, this one is by Moen. They do have a lifetime warranty that we've used on some other faucet fixtures in the house. So uh, we've appreciated that they service their warranty, they're good for it. And, and so we went ahead and bought another one here. Uh, I don't get any, any benefits or a free product or anything uh, for mentioning that, uh, just explaining why I've used it here. Uh, I've also used Delta faucet. Um, there's a lot of brands out there this, that uh, the same step-by-step -step will pretty much work for all of them. So whether you have a Moen or a Delta or a Kohler, I, hey, you know what? Everybody comment below, tell me, and share with everyone what brand of faucet are you putting in that this video is helping you out with. You want to have an adjustable wrench on hand. Uh, you'll be using that one and possibly uh, a pair of pliers or even just a pair of pliers could probably do the job for you. Have one or both of those on hand and everything else hopefully will be ready to go. First thing is underneath. Clear out everything that's down there and put a towel in. You might leak a few drops of water. It's not a big deal, but one towel ought to be enough to, to catch what you need. And what you're looking for here is the water shutoff. Okay, so you've got your pipes and behind the pipes, here's the hot water. Uh, you wanna turn this clockwise clockwise, that's ready tidy to shut it off. All the way till it's tight there. And there's the one for cold water. Okay, and just to make sure you want to come back out here. Go ahead and run the water. And there you go, that was successful. No, no water's coming out, so that's good. Okay, back down below. And this is where you're going to have a little bit of water come out. So I have your towel ready. Be ready for some more water. Now we need to take these plastic rings off. Okay, this one is stuck, so we're gonna have to knock it loose. Okay, I'm gonna have to put the camera down so I can use two hands, but I'm gonna use this screwdriver here, and I'm gonna hit the end of it with a mallet and see if I can push that to uh, unlock a little bit. There is a lot of buildup around here, so if I need to, I could maybe spray some WD-40, or I could use maybe pliers and get uh, both ends of the pliers, one on each side here, and try to twist. But whatever you need to do, get that off. If you're concerned about breaking it, just check your new faucet. Your new faucet should have new plastic rings in it. And if it does, 
then don't worry too much about breaking this one because you're gonna throw it away anyway and use the new plastic rings on the new kit. So whatever you gotta do, get that one off. And it was the screwdriver and the mallet that got me started. When the plastic got to this position, I couldn't get the screwdriver in a spot to fit the mallet to, to hit it again. So I grabbed pliers and you put one end of the pliers on the top, the other end of the pliers under that side of the plastic and just use the pliers to spin it. And I had to do that for about three or four turns before it became loose enough to do it by hand. So took a little work, but it's coming off. Okay, now we can go up top and remove the old faucet. We have a different kind of a uh, stopper and drain here. This is a disposable drain stopper. Uh, I'll include a link down below in the notes of the video. This one's called Sink Shroom. If you're interested, you can look that up. Uh, the idea here is that, you know, this is basically a strainer and it catches hair and junk and whatever else. And if you get a lot of hair in your drain and you're always having to unclog it and things like that, uh, this can be very convenient because all you gotta do is pull this thing up. Uh, after a few months, it gets kind of nasty, uh, but you just throw it away and put a new one in. So convenient, uh, however, over time, it'll cost more money because you have to keep buying more to replace. And also they are disposable, so that means they end up in the trash. And uh, if you don't like creating that much waste, then um, you know, then you might want to go with the, uh, the traditional uh, drain stopper. But uh, this is what we have for now. This one's been in for, I'd say, probably a handful of weeks. Uh, so it's in pretty good shape still. But the nice thing about this is you don't have to worry about installing uh, any sort of, you know, uh, puller on the uh, drain stop. And that's why we didn't have one down below to disconnect either. So um, that's what we have here. That's what we're going to keep. Uh, but let's move on with the new faucet install. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up this area. If it's real dirty, you can scrape it with a putty knife. Okay, that's pretty good. Pull out your new faucet. You can put it right in place. And if it's top heavy like this one, you might need to leave it like that. The drain stopper and the pull bar are here. Uh, we're gonna keep our old one in place, so uh, we're not gonna do that one. But here are our new plastic uh, rings. So back underneath to put the plastic rings on and to hook the water lines back up. You can tell the faucet is still kind of leaning. It's not straight up and down, so just do that. Oh, just work with it. You can have somebody hold it straight for you up top, or if you have two hands, you can hold it down with one hand while you tighten with the other, which is what I'll do in a second here. I'll put the camera down. How about a thumbs up below for the one-handed ring turn, even while the faucet wants to go back and forth on me. But okay, so we can uh, hook the water lines back up. Go ahead and start by hand and finish with the adjustable wrench. Before we turn the water valves back on, make sure the faucet handles are in the off position, just to make sure that everything's working before we get going. 
to turn it back on all the way to the left, counterclockwise. And let's turn the water back on up here. Check underneath for any leaks. I don't see any water dripping. But let's take a look up at where these hoses connect. You might just leave the water running on top for a little bit just so you can take a look while the water is on. Okay, so the water is on up top and I do not see any water leaking from here. So we are in good shape. And just for looks, we'll go ahead and put our pull bar in here. It covers up the hole so that water and things don't get inside. And otherwise it's just for looks because we do have that different kind of uh, drain stop down there. I hope that video was helpful to you. If it was, please do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button below. I really appreciate it. And go ahead and subscribe if you don't mind. That would really help me to uh, build my channel. And when I post new videos, uh, you can get alerts for some other DIY type of projects around the house. Thanks for watching and have a great day.